Displacement is the overall difference in position of an object from a given point. We label displacement with S. We can measure displacement with any unit of distance, such as metres. Velocity is written with a V and can be measured in metres per second. Acceleration is written with an A and can be measured in metres per second squared. To get from displacement to velocity, we differentiate. This is because velocity is the rate of change of displacement. And if we take velocity and differentiate, we get acceleration. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. The displacement of a particle from an origin is given by s equals t cubed minus 2t minus 3 metres, where t is in seconds. Find expressions for velocity and acceleration. We simply differentiate. Differentiating the displacement equation, we get v equals 3t squared minus 2. We differentiate v to get a equals 6t. Now we will find the velocity after 2 seconds. We simply take the velocity equation and sub in t equals 2. We get 3 times 2 squared minus 2. This equals 12 minus 2, which equals 10. The units are metres per second. The displacement of a particle from an origin is given by s equals t cubed plus 2t squared minus 5t metres, where t is the time in seconds. We differentiate s to get v. We get 3t squared plus 4t minus 5. We differentiate v to get a equals 6t plus 4. Now we will find the displacement when the acceleration is 16 metres per second squared. We first find the time where acceleration equals 16. We take 6t plus 4 and set acceleration equal to 16. Solving for t, we subtract 4 to get 12 equals 6t and divide by 6 to get t equals 2. Now we find the displacement at this time. We take the displacement equation and sub in t equals 2. Working this out, we get 6 metres. Here the displacement is s equals t squared minus 6t plus 4 metres. We differentiate s to get v equals 2t minus 6. We differentiate v to get a equals 2. Now we find the displacement when the particle changes direction. The particle changes direction when v equals 0. We take the velocity equation and set it equal to 0. We solve for t to find the times at which it changes direction. We add 6 to both sides to get 6 equals 2t. We divide by 2 to get t equals 3. Now we find the displacement when t equals 3. We sub t equals 3 into the s equation and work this out to get minus 5 metres. Negative displacement simply means that the particle is on the other side of the origin. For example, it may be 5 metres left instead of right. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.